Socialism, in a nutshell, it doesn't work. Why? Because any system that's dependent on giving handouts to people must ultimately fail. Socialism works great until you run out of other people's money to give away. A much better way is to give people a hand up, an opportunity, not a handout. Good opportunities for all, like education, apprenticeships, craftsmen trades and professional careers. People will be far happier in the long term if they can support themselves and their families with dignity by achieving success through their own personal efforts and not from handouts. Socialism offers no dignity to anyone except those who choose to control others, like politicians. The failing Chris Hipkins Labour Party government loves handouts, but it's far worse than that. Kiwis know the Hipkins Labour Party just love handouts. They've seen it every day for the past five years. Media bribes, minimum wage, living wage, dole increases, handouts to the criminal community, fuel discounts and band-aid gifts to help with the rising cost of living and so on. What most people don't notice about socialism is the evil beneath the surface, particularly with our current failing Chris Hipkins Labour Party government, and that is, they deliberately create a need for these handouts by subversive clandestine political policy because it increases their voting base. In other words, the failing Hipkins government needs the hand outside of town to be large so they can win votes. Never forget that the first priority of a government is to get elected and their second priority is to get re-elected. The failing Hipkins government needs a large voting base dependent on handouts in order to win as many votes as possible. So they deliberately create such a base beneath the surface with a cancer style, far left, woke ideology. In essence, the bigger the hand outside of town, the more votes a socialist government will receive which obviously increases their chances of being re-elected back into government. This is also the primary reason the failing Hipkins government wants to lower the voting age and have a referendum to get people smoking cannabis. Similarly, this is why they want to implement capital gains taxes, wealth taxes and other taxes. Such policies also directly and indirectly create the need for handouts, which further increases the socialist voting base. Look at the fat salary and perks that the New Zealand Prime Minister earns at the top of the pyramid compared to the handout crumbs he flicks down to the needy voting basis party created at the bottom. The devil is in the detail and the best thing that you can do for your families and friends at the coming general election on 14 October 2023 is to make sure that this dreadful failing New Zealand Labour Party do not, I repeat, do not get over the 5% MMP threshold. Thank you for listening. Wangari Tim.